Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing for the Xbox 360, Batman Arkham Asylum. Now I know this review is kind of late, but um, I just really haven't had time to review this game, and seeing that my studying actually got done for the week, I'm going to sit down and review a few video games, and Batman Arkham Asylum is among them. Now I got Batman Arkham Asylum for Christmas. And I beat it within a few days because I was very excited to get it, and it's one of the games I really, really wanted to get off my Christmas list. Yes, I still have a Christmas list. But whatever, that's besides the point. Batman Arkham Asylum is also a game that everyone wanted me to review. A lot of people would request me to review it. Maybe it's because I love video games so much, and I love Batman so much. And, well, two and two together, in theory, makes something good. In theory. But... I always found it funny that it's actually people that already had and played the game that wanted me to review the game more than people that didn't have the game and didn't play the game. So are you looking for my seal of approval or do you just want to see the game get reviewed to boost your opinion of the game? Because clearly a lot of people like the game, so do you want me to like the game or do you want to have some sense of approval from me liking the game? Or maybe I'm just overanalyzing this. Doesn't really much matter because we're not talking about you guys, we're not talking about me, we're talking about Batman Arkham Asylum. So with this review, despite how much I love Batman, despite how much I love video games, I'm going to go into it very cold-heartedly and very logical. I'm not going to allow any biasness or any love for Batman get in the way with this. Because, let's be honest, when it comes down to video games that are based off comic books, very few of them are actually good. I mean, the Marvel vs. Camp Cop is good, but then again, you can also say that's because Camp Cop is part of it. Then, you know, Marvel Ultimate Alliance is good, the Spider-Man game is good, and you can even argue Justice League Heroes is an okay game. But besides that, well, comic video games just aren't good. Flat, plain, and simple. That's why I was very weary going into Batman Arkham Asylum. Because, like I said, comic book video games just aren't good. So, I'm going to give you a complete, 100% honest review of this. So let's get into this. Let's start off with concept. Concept is plain simple. You're Batman, you have to go into Arkham Asylum, you got to stop the Joker and all the mad, crazy bad guys in there. Among these villains you get, such as Poison Ivy, Killer Croc, Scarecrow, uh, Mr. Zaz, among many others. Although, several, several villains don't show up in this such as Two-Face, the Mad Hatter, and Riddler, in theory, doesn't show up. I mean, he, he comes over the radio, your comm link, when you do the Riddler challenge, but you never actually face him. Uh, but despite all this, this is the basic concept. And for a Batman game, I guess it's a concept that works good, because you really can't go into too much depth with a Batman game, or it would just ruin the whole game itself. So the basic concept in this is good. You go into Arkham Asylum, you're outside of your comfort zone, and you have to deal with all the crazy and lunatics in there. So let's go into story. Again, the story is pretty simple, and the story is actually written by Paul Dini, who is one of my favorite Batman writers of all time. Uh, however, writing a comic book is incredibly different from writing a video game. So, the story itself is okay. I mean, really, there's not too much depth to it. There's nothing that surprises you. I, I thought it was a little bit different with Joker wanting to get the Titan, um, the Titan uh, chemical, which is a uh, offspring of Bane's venom. But besides that, the story is pretty simple, p pretty basic. The writing is okay. Um, again, writing for a comic writing uh, different from writing a video game. Uh, all the actors sound good, with the exception of Commissioner Gordon, who, who just sounds like a stiff. They brought in Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill, arguably the best voices for Joker and Batman to date, to do this video game. And it made the video game feel a lot more comfortable for big-time Batman fans like me, or even nostalgic people that watch the animated series. So, on the whole, the story is okay, and uh, the voice acting is good. Let's go into graphics. Uh, the graphics is definitely a strong point in this game. Uh, with the exception of actually Batman, I thought everyone looked very nice. Now, I'm not saying Batman doesn't look nice. Batman looks good, but I think one thing from this game that gets that, that really wasn't in it, that was in a few previous Batman games, you don't get the Creature of the Night feel from Batman. He's very mechanical in this game, looking-wise. 
If you remember the old Batman game for the GameCube, I believe it was, Batman Dark Tomorrow, you see Batman with a cape and it's draped and he looks like that Dark Avenger, that Dark Creature of the Night feel. In this, we see Batman more as a, a superhero than a Dark Avenger. But besides all that, besides Batman himself, and Batman does look good, it's just not as good as I thought he was going to look. All the villains look fantastic. Changed up differently from their normal look, but I'm okay with that. Some villains that stand out in particular are the likes of Joker, Poison Ivy, uh, Scarecrow. All of them look fantastic. The atmosphere is beautiful, and it really gives you kind of a dark, gringy feeling. It probably helps that I read Batman Night Cries before this, which as a whole has a dark, gringy feeling. But this is really just a great dark look. Um, I love the designs of the levels, and especially I love the Scarecrow parts where you have the nightmares. Just the look of Batman in there having more of a brown, gringy look, and the, the, the design of the level on a whole is uh, very beautiful looking. So one thing this game definitely excels at is the graphics and the look. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get into gameplay itself. Gameplay can be divided up into multiple different parts. You get combat, you get platforming, and then you get all the different miscellaneous gadgets in detective mode in this. Combat is pretty good and actually is very simple, but at the same time very complex. Uh, you get a certain button for attacking, a certain button for countering, uh, for dodging, and although there are very few buttons to use in combat, they flow together very nicely and you can build up combos very nicely. In addition to that, you can upgrade Batman's offensive and defensive capabilities inside combat. Now, creeping around and platforming is probably the most fun in this game. You have to actually sneak around and make sure no one sees you most of the time. Sometimes you can just go in there bat ring, uh, flying, but in general you're supposed to sneak in there and fly around and grab one things around, and I really like all that aspect of the gameplay the most, because it really gives you the feel that you are Batman. Um, certain items like the grappling hook or the zip line really are fun to play. And just overall, the uh, the climbing, the, the the platforming, it feels natural. It's not quite as good as, say, Assassin's Creed but, or Prince of Persia, but it's good for what the game is worth. Uh, so it ties into the uh, combat very nicely, too. Um, items are fun. You can upgrade items, and you get items along the way. I just kind of wish there were more variety of items. Seeing half of them are just different kinds of battering. Um, in addition to that, you get a special mode called Detective Mode, which you can turn on, and everything kind of gets a almost night vision-like look to it, only blue. And you can pick up on certain things that, well, you need to pick up on. Maybe some fingerprints, or, or a stain of blood, or, or maybe the, the electric line to the box that you have to destroy. Detective Mode is incredibly helpful, but the problem is that you're going to go through the game most of the time with Detective Mode on. And it's just going to take away from the graphics, and the look of the game. So it's actually probably best to play the game through just a beat and then do it again without detective mode on just to see how good you are and to really enjoy the look of the game. Enemies are good. Uh, the basic enemies are pretty easy to beat. They're fun to play though. Uh, some of them are challenging. The ones with the electric uh, staff or the ones with the gun. Those can be a little bit challenging. Boss battles are okay, nothing really too inventive, which the only boss battle that I found personally difficult was Poison Ivy, but even then, it wasn't that difficult. So boss battles could have been a little bit better, especially the last boss battle, which I found very anticlimactic. But besides that, besides the boss battle, the enemies overall are fun, and they're definitely maneuvering around them gives a great feel to the game. Um, last off is just overall the game itself. Batman Arkham Asylum is a fun game. I have to give it that. I, I'm going to agree with everyone here. It's definitely probably the best Batman game. I'm a little concerned, though, that they're making a sequel so quickly. Give this game some time to sink in. Don't go into the sequel so quickly that it's going to be shit. I mean, look at Bioshock and Bioshock 2. Bioshock is a fantastic game. Bioshock 2 is just shit. So, I'm a little concerned about them coming out with a sequel, but Batman Arkham Asylum has great atmosphere, it ties in combat with platforming in stealth very nicely, and on a whole, I would recommend this game. So, I'm going to have to agree with everyone on that. Uh, it is one of the better comic book games. Do I think it's one of the, uh, do I think it's the best comic book game? Well, that remains to be seen. In my opinion, I would put this up there with Marvel Ultimate Alliance as one of the best, but 
on the whole Batman Arkham Asylum, I definitely recommend picking it up if you haven't already got it, but chances are, you already do. So with that, this is Xander saying, peace out for now.